standard. Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian football boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click like, of course, the subscribe button right now, and also go to the notification bell icon, click it, and select all. So, turn on video and a new exclusive video, definitely be notified. Moses Itauma knocked out it's von benot from hungary in the first round with a devastating barrage of punches including uppercuts from hell i have to give moses itama credit despite the fact that the guy looks like oh he's like a baby assassin let's keep let's keep it right here he looks very innocent he doesn't even look like a fighter he looks like one of those tech guys you know uh, one of those guys that basically if you go to a, let's say you go to media market here and you want to uh, acquire like say a phone or you want to acquire one of the electronics there one of those guys that just direct you to the under the section you have to go to <laughs> he looks exactly like that so itama was born in in, Slova in slovakia to a, a slovakian mom and to a nigerian dad resides in chatham kent in her kingdom of course is a British citizen 18 years of age and funny enough he's a south poor now let's get right here um Adewale what do you make of Itama's performance against Isvon Benat we know that Itama now has six wins four knockouts Benat himself had uh uh eight wins I uh, know eight knockouts in ten wins and only one uh, loss prior to this fight uh he didn't, I, I, you can tell that he didn't come to fight but yeah he uh we can't really blame me for that basically you beat yeah who's in front of you right exactly yeah yeah um yeah you're right it's van it's van burn math man i never heard of that guy itama salute to my cousin Itauma from the Great Benin Empire. Um, um, of course, I will be rooting for Moses Itauma. I'll, I'll be very honest. The young man, 18 years old, he looked average in the performance. And I'm just going to say that I'm not trying to take away any credit from Itauma's performance, right? But I have to constructively critique certain things. I seen Itauma throw in some good right hooks because he's a southpaw, right? From the southpaw boxing stands throwing some good right hooks but those right hooks were a little bit wide and i also noticed he was missing on some of those punches while the opponent wasn't trying to defend himself sorry wasn't backing away or even looking at the punch because this guy had his guards up the hungarian guy he had a full guard shelling up while shelling up his visual is covered and he's receiving a barrage of punches from Moses. But Moses is missing those punches while the stationary target is shelling up. So that critique simply means Moses might need to be a little bit more patient with his punch selections, but he'll learn that. This guy only has about 22 amateur fights and now six professional fights. So he's new in the boxing game and he has a lot of room to improve. Um, congratulations to him for getting this victory. I hope um, I, I don't. I believe he signed to Queensbury. I hope those guys match him up properly and slowly build him so he can become something great in the heavyweight. Division. My problem with Queensbury is that they tend to give uh, their fighters a lot of bombs to fight. That's the thing. Itama is going to be milked until I don't know when. So I just wish you know Frank Curry would change his strategy a little bit more. You know, because of course, Itama right now is green, so you can't really, can't really like expect him to fight a top uh, rated uh, uh, opponent right now. Yeah. But uh, as time goes on, we'll, we'll have to see uh, him improve with more, um, you know, good, uh, good against good fighters. You know, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, guys. You heard it from our brother. Uh, Diwale stayed to Formation Barra yet. Like this, the bo boxing night, um, this boxing night, and uh, it's definitely interesting. Things are getting interesting, and uh, more fights on the way, definitely. And uh, yeah, don't forget that. So.
support the channel. God bless you all guys. Cheers.